Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll be going to derive very interesting parameters of full wave rectifier. Let me show you how many parameters that I'm going to derive in this video. See here, I'll derive average value of voltage and current. Then I'll derive RMS value of voltage and current. After that, I'll derive form factor and ripple factor. After that, I'll derive efficiency of full wave rectifier. And at last, I'll be deriving peak inverse voltage of full wave rectifier. See, in full wave rectifier, I have made two videos. One is based on full wave rectifier using center tap transformer. And second is based on full wave rectifier of bridge configuration. Right. So, I'll be deriving peak inverse voltage for both of this category of full wave rectifier. In my last two videos, I have explained full wave rectifier with center tap transformer and full wave rectifier with breach configuration. Now let us derive full wave rectifier's parameter. First one is average DC voltage current of full wave rectifier. So first of all you should know what is average calculation. So for average calculation basic equation that one should know. See that is 1 by 2 pi integration from 0 to 2 pi function d omega t. So here function is output voltage of full wave rectifier. If you see output voltage waveform, then you see from 0 to pi and pi to 2 pi, it is repeating in full wave rectifier. So here what I'll do is, I'll be taking 0 to pi integration and I'll be doubling it for 0 to 2 pi. Instead of taking two calculations separately, both waveforms are similar. So you can take double of 0 to pi. So here you see how to have it 1 by 2 pi. Now instead of 0 to 2 pi, we are taking 0 to pi. So 2 into 0 to pi integration that we need to do. Right. And this output voltage is Vm sin omega t d omega t. Now this 2 will get cancelled. This Vm by pi that is simplified output and integration of sin omega t that is minus cos omega t limit is from 0 to pi. So Vm by pi the substitute the limits so minus of cos omega t where omega t is pi first so cos pi is minus 1 minus cos 0 so that is 1. So minus of minus 2 that is plus 2, right. So you can say average value is 2 Vm by pi, right. See in my earlier videos of parameters of half wave rectifier, we have derived average voltage that was Vm by pi. For full wave rectifier, average voltage is 2 Vm by pi. If you wanted to have average current value, then similar calculation is there. You will be getting 2 i m by pi right same calculation that you need to repeat now let us have rms voltage so for rms voltage calculation first of all you should know what is rms so rms calculation that we can derive based on basic equation that is square root of 1 by 2 pi integration from 0 to 2 pi function square here function is output voltage so output voltage square d omega t so this is how one can have basic equation of rms calculation now here you see square root of 1 by 2 pi now here voltage square that we need to integrate from 0 to 2 pi if you observe voltage see from 0 to pi and pi to 2 pi it is repeating so again what i will be doing is i'll be taking limit from 0 to pi only and I'll be taking it double of it, right. So here you see 2 into limit is there from 0 to pi instead of 0 to 2 pi. Now I'm taking 0 to pi and I'm just doubling it. V0 square that is Vm square sin square omega t d omega t. Let us simplify this. So square root of See this 2 will get cancelled, this Vm square that will come out by pi and then you see 0 to pi sin square integration is not possible directly. So sin square is what? 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 
टू सो वन माइनस कॉस टू ओमेगा टी बाई टू डी ओमेगा टी नाउ दिस टू विल कम आउट सो स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वी एम स्क्वायर बाई टू पाई एंड वन माइनस कॉस टू ओमेगा दैट इंटीग्रेशन इज वन इज हैविंग इंटीग्रेशन ओमेगा टी माइनस कॉस इंटीग्रेशन इज साइन टू ओमेगा टी बाई टू एंड लिमिट इज देर फ्रॉम जीरो टू पाई नाउ जस्ट सब्सटीट्यूट द लिमिट्स सो हियर सी वी एम स्क्वायर बाई टू पाई हियर ओमेगा टी दैट इज पाई फर्स्ट साइन पाई दैट इज जीरो माइनस ओमेगा टी इज जीरो एंड साइन जीरो दैट इज जीरो सो दिस एंटायर लिमिट इज पाई ऑनली दिस पाई विल गेट कैंसल सो स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वी एम स्क्वायर बाई टू दैट इज वी एम बाई रूट टू and if you wanted to have current value then current can be derived in a similar way i rms that will be im by root 2 right that is how one can derive rms value if you have seen my earlier videos based on parameters of half wave rectifier in which we have derived v rms that was vm by 2 for full wave it is vm by root 2 right now let us have form factor calculation see form factor basic calculation that is as per rms value v rms divided by vdc v rms that we have derived right now it is vm by root 2 and vdc that also we have derived you see vdc that is 2 vm by pi right so just substitute it over here 2 vm by pi so this vm will get cancel you will be getting this pi will go in numerator divided by 2 root 2 so if you solve this you will be getting 1.11 so form factor that is 1.11 over here now let us have ripple factor so ripple factor basic calculation that one should know that is happening as per square root of v rms by vdc square Minus one. This is form factor that we have calculated. That is one point one one. So square root of one point one one square minus one. And if you do this calculation, you will be getting zero point four eight two in terms of percentage. It is four eight point two percentage. Right. That is how simply we can have ripple factor calculation. Now let us have efficiency. See when it comes to efficiency. one should know efficiency of rectifier that is dc power divided by rms power right so dc power that one can have it based on current as well as voltage let us have it in terms of voltage so that is vdc square divided by rl and prms is v rms square divided by rl this rl will get cancel vdc that we have derived vdc means v average so that is 2 vm by pi right so here 2 square means 4 vm square by pi square divided by v rms that is vm by root 2 square means vm square by 2 so if you solve this this vm square will get cancel This two will go in numerator, so eight by pi square. So if you solve this, you will be getting zero point eight one zero five, and in terms of percentage, it is eight one point zero five percentage. So this efficiency that is way higher compared to the efficiency which we have derived for half wave rectifier, right? Now let us have peak inverse voltage. So see peak inverse voltage. that is a maximum reverse bias voltage which can be given to diode peak inverse voltage is maximum reverse bias voltage that one can give it to diode here we are using diode you see d1 and d2 for center tap transformer full wave rectifier right so in this let us have peak inverse voltage so let us consider a scenario let us consider a scenario in which this is positive with respect to this right during positive half cycle so this is positive with respect to this means what here we have plus vm 
here we have minus vm right so what will happen this d1 that will be on and this d2 that will be off why the reason is d1 will come in forward bias d2 will come in reverse bias so d2 will be off so now we need to see what is reverse bias voltage which is happening across d2 so as this d1 is on this vm that will come here right this plus vm that will come here so here we'll be having plus vm so across this diode d2 across d2 how much voltage is there in reverse bias in reverse bias it is vm minus minus vm right vm minus minus vm so that is 2 vm so peak inverse voltage over here for center wave transformer full wave rectifier that is 2 vm right now see here we are having center wave transformer that's why it is 2 vm right but when it comes to full wave rectifier using bridge in that situation it will be vm only you see why let us consider a scenario in which this is positive this with respect to this so here we will be having vm here we'll be having zero the reason is see here in center wave transformer neutral is available here but here we have plus with respect to this terminal only so as if it is plus then this d1 will be on right and this d3 will be on so across d2 will be having reverse bias right across d2 will be having reverse bias that will be vm only right so here piv piv that is vm only right across d2 and d4 it is vm only right so maximum reverse bias voltage for bridge rectifier it is vm and for center wave transformer full wave rectifier it is 2 vm right see here peak inverse voltage explains you need to have that rating of diode otherwise there can be a damage if breakdown is happening in the reverse bias then diode will get damaged that's why we need to understand peak inverse voltage right so that is how things are there i hope you have understood this still if anything you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video